Mike Barlack here to talk to you. Well, <clears throat> after watching uh, <clears throat> M tell his uh, dark story <laughs> about the precise moment he became red pilled, I felt inspired to make my own video about my own uh, becoming red pill, which I cannot credit to a specific moment. I think it, for me it was more of a process. The the pro the becoming a red pilled man was more of a process for me than a instantaneous moment. Um, <clears throat> I was never 100% blue, blue pill to begin with, and I credit, I, I say that when I think of all the times I could have said, okay, I guess this is it, this is the best I'm going to get, this is what God has chosen for me. Well, to quote uh, a uh, monologue uh, stage performance by uh, Julia Sweeney, God said, ha, huh. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> my life would start a new chapter in a completely new direction, sometimes because of my own actions, but not always, sometimes because of the actions beyond my control. But that's why I say for me it was more of a process, a process that I think began when Trump became president in 2016. <clears throat> I remember thinking, my exact reaction to the knowledge that he became that he won the 2060 election. Well, this should be interesting, and I think I've shared a little bit of this before on my channel. But um, I, I I see in all these people crying, and I couldn't understand why are all these people crying. To me, it was just stupid. I mean, crying over a career politician. <laughs> I, uh, at the time, I would still, I was still ignorant to the criminology that is the Clintons, but I still, you know, I still loved the idea of a female president, but, but still would say, why Hillary? I got that from my mom. She's the one who told me that, or who, uh, who uh, put that bug in my ear about the, why Hillary? Yeah, I was totally thrilled about the prospect of a female president, but why Hillary? <laughs> But uh, that was when when he became when he was elected president. I think that might have begun the process of my becoming red pilled. I would continue to just live my life, work on myself, growing and changing. You know, lifelong pro process for anybody. But becoming red pilled <clears throat> um, to the world around me, I only wish it would have happened sooner. <laughs> Even though I've made my peace with the Almighty, but. I, I do uh, recall a quote, direct quote from Robin Williams about uh, being alone. I used to think that the worst thing in life was to be alone. It's not. The worst thing in life is to be around people who make you feel alone. But, uh, <clears throat> but uh, Trump becoming president in 2016 was the start. Other things that would come up is... Uh, <clears throat> watching uh, Red Pill content, which uh, was a slow process. At first I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know. <laughs> but uh, it, it got to the point where I was getting answers to... I think I made a video about this a, a year or so ago, but um, it got to the point where um, I was learning... I was getting answers to questions I already... I always had in life. And I'm finally getting answers to these questions. Constructive, usable answers. And not some BS emotional roller coaster. But uh, the, uh, the, the real, and yeah, and there's, I, yeah, I just seem to recall, I made a video pertaining to this next part uh, in depth. My uh, personal, the personal mind blowing thing <coughs> that made me, uh, made, open my eyes to female nature. It was like, I, I was able to, um, figure out things that happened to me in past, you know, relationships and stuff. Uh, it's like, oh, okay, that's why, you know, she acted that way or that way, <laughs> you know. But ultimately, and I, I believe I said this in the video, it was quite liberating. It was quite liberating because, uh, the knowledge that, you know, females do not love the men in their life romantically. A female's love goes as far as what a man is able to provide for her. 
which uh, was liberating for me because then I no longer, I'm, I'm, this, I'm, this is all stuff I've already talked about on this channel, <clears throat> but um, <clears throat> um, uh, whenever I lose my train of thought, I gotta hit pause to save sp time on the <laughs> video I'm making. But um, yeah, it was um, <clears throat> it was liberating. It was liberating for me personally because now I no longer had to feel guilty about my inability to love a female simply because she is female and has female genitalia. This is my one and only day off before I got to go back to work tomorrow. So <laughs> I do have to do some shopping, produce, um, oil and vinegar based dressing. I find it's uh, best to make myself full on raw vegetables at night so I can sleep. <laughs> oh, let's, let me... Uh, um, Acknowledge this here and now in my prior video. Yes, I do recognize I said Dominican voting system. I meant Domina. <laughs> okay, here's an interesting story pertaining to that. I was expecting to be stopped when I put the, my ballot into the machine. Because this has happened before. I've undervoted before. And always there was an additional step. This is years ago when I voted for Bush W's re-election. Um, <clears throat> the voting poll that I went to to vote, I voted, you know, who I wanted to vote for, um, and then I put uh, my, my ballot in the machine. I didn't vote for judges and stuff, and, stuff, and so uh, it, a thing popped up on the machine, oh, you undervoted. And I said, oh, I, I told the gentleman, I, I, I don't feel informed to, enough to vote for those judges and that. He's like, that's okay, you just do, you just gotta hit, it's just an additional step. That didn't happen this time around. I didn't vote for those, uh, <clears throat> um, the ones where either you had to vote for a uh, Democratic representative or a write-in. And I wasn't, uh, the way I felt, <laughs> the way I feel in recent months and years about, uh, being uh, backstabbed by the Democratic Party all my life, I wasn't about to give benefit to give any Democratic candidate the benefit of my vote. So I chose not to vote. If my only option was to fill in the little thing to vote for that Democrat, I wasn't going to vote. So this time around, I'm actually almost surprised that that didn't come up. As a matter of fact, I did say something to the guy. Says I didn't vote for any of these Democrats at the end here. He's like, oh yeah, that doesn't matter. They 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 get it automatically. <laughs> okay, well whatever. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just know I wasn't going to benefit the, those democratic individuals with my little scribble. But that was this time voting. Last time when this came up, yeah, like I said, the, this was uh, when I voted for W's re-election and. Um, the gentleman said, you undervoted. And I said, oh, I don't feel uh, informed enough to vote for the, uh, the, the judges. And I said, it's okay. This is just, uh, you just got the, uh, uh, hit the, I had to hit a button on the machine is what it was. That didn't happen this time around. So, And that's why uh, I was, you got me thinking about this, this Dominican, Dominica, Dominica, whatever, Dominica, Dominica, I think, uh, system where they're saying that, the uh, technology is actually being made this way on purpose so that they have to count those ballots separate if they could count it at all. <laughs> and then one of my videos I made, um, I was trying to be a little humorous, but I was dead serious. <laughs> this is what it seems the left wants. This is why they want to get, you know, they want to... Uh, uh, abolish uh, people's belief in God. They want to take God out of the system because you know, they want you to believe in their new trinity, in the name of the liberal Lord, the righteous Democratic Party, and the holy social reset. All will give total allegiance to the holy social reset. <laughs> I mean, I was trying to be funny, but also making a flunking point. They want them. They want, they want to be God. They want to be the, the, the one, the only one you come to for everything you need and want in life. They want to be God.
That's what it seems to me, anyways. Just one man's opinion, but I don't think I'm alone. Alright, well, this is my only day off. I gotta do my shopping and... <sighs> Mike Paralak, thank you for your time.